based on the Bible, do you believe there is a consistency in the message of the prophets before Jesus and Jesus himself and after Jesus? Do you think the message was consistent as to how to attain salvation? Yes. How? Let me, let me give you a hint. You know, there was a rich man who came to Jesus and asked him, how do I attain yeah, yeah. eternal life? Yeah. What was the response of Jesus? You sell all your things and give to the poor and all that. Yeah. Did Jesus yeah. mention you believe in my resurrection? Yeah. And, sorry, my crucifixion, my how resurrection? How do you know that he didn't say that after the Because there's no, in that passage, yeah. in that conversation between them, right. there's no mention of any resurrection or right. crucifixion or resurrection. Right. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, so Jesus tells him first to keep the commandments. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. And he says, I've, I keep them all since yeah. like I was young or whatever it was. I don't remember exactly what. But basically, yeah. he said to Jesus that I keep the commandments. Yeah. What else do I need to do? Yeah. And Jesus obviously knew his, yeah. his uh, weakness because he was a rich guy. Right. And he said to him, sell all your possessions yeah. and then come to me and then follow me. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. And obviously because he couldn't do that, right. he went away. But you see, at no point did Jesus tell, them, tell him, because remember, what was his question? His question was, how will I attain eternal life? I.e., how will I attain salvation? At this point, Jesus could have easily told him, you know, one day I'm going to die, yes? And all you have to do is believe in my crucifixion, and that one, in three days I'll rise up again, and you believe in my resurrection, and you will have eternal life. Why would Jesus deceive him? I'm not saying he deceived him, right. but why did Jesus not respond to him right. based on your criteria of salvation? I.e. to believe in his death and resurrection. Because the previous prophets, <laughs> yeah. they believed that people can attain salvation. Yeah. Because you never heard Moses say, oh, you have to believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus, otherwise yeah. you'll be eternally damned to hell. You see what I mean? Yeah. How do you think Moses convinced his people to believe and attain salvation. I think one, this isn't a biblical perspective, this is a personal perspective. One, God knew the heart of man. He knew that it was prophesied that a man was going to come to save the world and if they believed in the one God. No, but do you think Moses believed that? Do you think Moses told his people that unless and until you believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, See, that's you, my people, will be doomed to hellfire. Do you really think he taught them this message? I didn't say that. That's no, I'm not asking what you, I just I'm asking. asked me. No, no. No, I think, so I think he Moses must have... knew their hearts and if they loved God and recognized God. only God knows their hearts. Moses yeah, that's didn't know what that. I meant. God, God knows like the people's Moses' heart. Okay, like, so let me ask you this. Hearts. If Moses did not preach and advocate the death and resurrection of Jesus, yes. then them, he must have told them how to attain salvation. How do you think that is? To love God. To what? To love God and okay. believe in God and know Him as your Savior. Right. Yes. But we Muslims believe that. Do you think we'll attain okay. salvation? Do what? Do you think we'll attain salvation? Because we believe exactly that. We yeah. love God. We believe in Him, we obey Him, yeah. and we believe one day we'll attain His, 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 right. ple uh, his, his, right. his pleasure to I, be with Him. I think the difference is that there was an anticipated Savior. Did He preach that? Did Moses preach that? I you see what I mean?